Well guys, as promised, I said there will be more institutional investors on the line complaining about the risk coming from Russian assets. Today we have two of them. First, Credit Suisse exposure very close to a billion dollars into Russian net credit. And you know, they're saying stuff like increase in trading and hedging activity after the invasion will likely be offset by higher provisions and lower deal making. What this actually means, they will keep more reserves, they will invest less, they will prepare themselves for uh, if things go south. This is what they said, but see how things look in the media space. The Zurich-based lender is the latest among the slew of European banks seeking to reassure investors that they can absorb the shock of invasion, right? After a widespread sell-off in the European stocks. Not to mention today I posted a video on the second channel explaining why Goldman Sachs is leaving Russia. Closing office, everything will be closed. There will be no one representing Goldman Sachs over there. Meanwhile, Credit Suisse still maintains its office in Moscow. Meanwhile, inside Credit Suisse, guys, the company slashes executive bonuses after the scandal around Archegos and Greensill. So let me know if things are doing well, if everyone is perfect in its position, if the company is managing without any issues, any risk exposures, why they will see such kind of action. Look at this. Credit Suisse has chopped bonuses for its senior executives by 64%. We're not talking about 10, 5, 7%. 64%, guys. And we all know bonuses in this business are the major amount of the yearly pay, right? It's not like some insignificant amount. Meanwhile, look what the heck is going on in JP Morgan. JP Morgan Chase Trading <laughs> said that a lot of clients are under extreme stress tied to the impact of the invasion, indicating the volatility was also affecting the US bank's market revenue. Well guys, recap time. We've been talking about a lot of banks, insurance companies, wealth management funds. Uh, one of the, the biggest retirement funds also had exposure, if I'm not mistaken, a little over $2 billion in Russian assets or investments. Last but not least, Deutsche Bank exposure it's around 665 million dollars at the end of last year while pointing out to the potential closing of its informational technology hub in the country as another risk so most likely deutsche bank will close as well following goldman sachs earlier well guys i think if you're following the channel for a while you don't have to be a market pro to understand that institutional investors are in deep deep trouble right you don't have to think about that you know this is not a big coincidence their exposure is not crazy right they're not worrying about we went over the management of these banks we went over the clients of these banks everyone is crazy stressed right they try to keep calm we went over the media how the media see the whole situation and they're pointing that you know it's not as easy how these banks are saying that you know we're gonna go over it we can offset potential losses and meanwhile they're closing they're closing their offices in russia right you understand where all this is heading right remember morgan stanley prediction was that the first imminent default from russia will most likely be seen until april 15th this was the prediction from morgan stanley we're about a month from that date so still we have 30 plus days to, to see how this will play out and how many of these guys could actually lose a big chunk of their assets. Remember what Credit we said earlier, they will have a less deal making. In other words, we're gonna do less business and we're gonna play much safer in the future. We're gonna stack much more provisions, right? Uh, in other words, if we try to take the individual uh, person example, I'm gonna have more savings uh, I'm going to transfer some of my investment account funds into my savings account, right? I'm not going to play uh, as risky as I used to play in the past. This should be a hot moment for you to realize that uh, the days of the short sellers, individual investors, hedges in general are numbered. Subscribe to the channel guys, like this video and come back for more.